Hello and welcome back, everybody. I'm gonna show you how to do some cool things with X11 while they're still relevant. Yep. Anyway, I spammed escape trying to boot this Ubuntu VM. Got to my grub screen. From here, I'm gonna go to E to edit. Scroll down to the Linux line. The end of the Linux line at at a three. I was taught that that means boot into run level three. Um, that's more or less emulated these days, and you boot to something like run level three, which is networking but no GUI. So if you don't want to start the GUI, putting a three here is a good place to put a three. Ta -da. By the way, five would be default graphical. One is recovery. Three. Non-graphical. From here, you can just simply press F10 to boot. So the reason I'm booting in to run level three is so that I can start X11 manually. I've set myself a root password so I can log in directly as root. And the command here is simple, it's x init. You can simply run that command by itself with no arguments and it will start on display zero. Um, X11 runs with different display numbers. Display zero is default, display one is the next one, and so on. But uh, let's say you already have an X11 session running on colon zero. It's fairly easy um, to give it a different display number. So you can do dash dash space colon and then whatever you want your display number to be. One would be the most useful, I think, because if you already have one running, you can start another one. But I'm going to go ahead and leave off the arguments and start on the default display zero. Swifty. OK, you should be greeted with this fancy dancy terminal x term that's default you can also pass in a command to run uh, to x in it but this will do just fine we can start whatever we want from here for example i can type in firefox and here's firefox notice you can't really interact with the firefox because it doesn't have a window manager running and Firefox gets kind of pissy with no window manager. Ubuntu doesn't have a really good one that you can start easily by itself, but you can start Unity. That's probably going to change when GNOME comes around. Cool, Unity running as root. Not a great idea, but here it is anyway. And once Unity's running, you can move your windows around and do that fancy window nonsense. Yay. 